What's up guys? So, new camera, better quality content coming for you guys. I'm going to record a couple of videos today. The first one I want to touch on is skinny fat. Um, this is basically when people feel like they, they're they not comfortable in their own body and whether it be because they don't feel they have enough muscle mass to go into a dieting phase or they feel like they have too much, they have excess fat and they wouldn't be comfortable going into a gaining phase. Both are valid, both are applicable to different people. I'm going to touch on um, how to categorize where you fall into and how to go about making progress. So the first thing I want to do is address social media because I think that's where a lot of this um, stigma or social pressure comes from that people feel like they have to be lean year round. You see these sponsored athletes um, who are paid by big uh, companies to market a certain product and they do that by staying lean or in a good an attractive um, big figure year round. If you compare these athletes year on year they don't make much progress. They'll either stay lean year round or if they do make progress what they do is they'll be posting throwbacks um, of when they were leaner for when they're going through the gaining phase. So you're, you're not going to make much progress if any by trying to stay lean all year. Um, so yeah that's just something you have to realize and address that you're not going to look at your best if you want to make progress um so i think for the first few years you should be prioritizing making as much progress as you can um growing hypertrophy is uh, gaining muscle mass that's fastest in your first few years of training that will inevitably slow down as your body adapts to the stimulus so Make progress when you can in your first few years. Um, but on the flip side of that, don't use it as an excuse to be a fat shit and just binge out and say, oh, I'm, I'm bulking. Like, I'll put my hand up, I've done the exact same. I think a lot of us have when we're starting out. Um, somehow you justify it in your own head, but it's hard to, it's very hard to justify being over 20% body fat. I'm not throwing numbers out there. Um, I hate using arbitrary numbers, but that's just an example. If you are excessively fat, address that. Um, so, first thing to do there is address and commit to a single goal. Um, you see a lot of people where they might go through a four-week gaining phase, and then they think they look too fat, um, or they say, oh, that's going on both, uh, time to get shredded. In four weeks, you're not going to gain much, if any, muscle mass. Um, so commit to a good 8, 12, 16 weeks of gaining as I said within reason don't just use it as an, as an excuse to pig out and be a fat shit um, control your cravings and then use dieting phases appropriately um, a nice little ratio that I think you should, if you're doing it properly if you aren't binging out in your bulking phases is maybe a 12 week bulking phase followed by a four week dieting phase. And you can diet aggressively for three, four, five weeks and make great progress. You don't have to go through a prolonged dieting phase. And same thing, you won't lose a lot of muscle mass in three or four weeks. If you think you've lost a lot of muscle mass in those three weeks of dieting, odds are you didn't have enough muscle there when you started um, because you didn't commit to a prolonged gaining phase. Um, so yeah, if people want um, my personal opinion on where I think they should go with their training, with their diet, just shoot me a message, um, I'll be honest, because um, you have to appreciate that your body will be a bit more responsive to an increase in calories if you're at lower body fat. Um, there's a lot of metabolic processes, I'm not going to go into it, um, but your body will be more responsive if you are leaner um, and you'll grow better. So. Sometimes mini dieting phases, as I said, aggressive three, four weeks dieting can pay its dividends if you then commit to a prolonged gaining phase. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Um, any other messages or topics you want covered, shoot me a message and I'll get on to them ASAP. Cheers.